Good afternoon. This is your girl, Lady J. Well, of course, I got my workout clothes on. I'm going to get ready to work out and do my thing because Lady J is about to turn 49 on um, May 12th. And I'm all about self-love, self-care. So while I'm talking about this subject, listen, I want everybody to understand one thing and understand who you are and what you are. Okay. You have to know who you are and the process of where you're going. Or you'll just get lost in the sauce. So I've always been talking about self-love and self-care because that's very important and we should have that. You first, okay? Yeah, we know we got our mama duties and we have our wife duties and um, our community duties. But overall, you matter. You first. Because if you don't take care of you, how are you going to take care of your husband? How are you going to take care of your kids? How are you going to take care of, of your community? So you have to take care of you. Take care of your mind. Take care of your spirit. Take care of yourself physically. Because this is important. It's not about looking your best. It's about feeling your best. Because when you feel your best, oh, believe it, you're going to look your best. Amen? So we have to get ourselves together. Especially women. We got to really take care of ourselves, especially mentally, okay? Because sometimes that is what drives us to make poor decisions. Temporarily, places that we be in as far as what we're going through, what we're dealing with. And sometimes it could be our own emotions, our own issues, outside of other issues, so listen, check yourself before you wreck yourself. So, you know, sometimes I get up, I don't feel my best. I don't look my best. But you know what? I know how, I know that I have 30 seconds. I have a 30 second window to change my mindset, to change how I look at myself, to change how I see the situations that I'm, that I'm up against. I have a 30 second window. Because within, within that 30 seconds, I can change how I feel. I can change how I view and see my situation. If I don't change how I feel, then I become the very product of how I'm feeling. So if I'm sad, I'm going to be sad. If I'm not happy, I'm not going to be happy. If I'm depressed, I'm going to stay that way. But you have the power to change. How you view and see yourself and your situation. You. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. So, you know, today I got up not feeling like myself. Like I'm, I'm going through a whole lot of stuff. And I'm sure that we all are. You know, we, you know, we got this unemployment where they pay you some days. Some days they don't pay you. That's me. <laughs> and then you can't call them. You can't talk to them. You email. They don't relate. You know, you call and then sometimes you're on there for a whole hour and the and then the call drops. So it's almost if we get so upset and we get mad and we get angry. You know, we got bills to pay. You know, we got things we need to do. And it just seems like all hell's breaking loose. But that's the time when God does his best work. He does his best work when things are not working according to how you want it to work. And we know that the enemy comes to kill the still and destroy what? Your faith, your hope, your belief, your happiness, your joy. You own, listen, you got to change how you feel. You can't let outside of what's going on to affect what's going on inside of you. So you're going to have to trust God like I'm trusting God. We all going to have to trust God in this, in, 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 in this situation. We all got bills to pay. We all need things. We all, you know, we all got some things that we need done right now. But we have to trust God. And today I woke up, I, was, I wasn't feeling myself. I was all dazed out. You know, I was having one thought to another thought to this ain't going well. This ain't happening. This is going, <laughs> this is going sideways. I'm like, wait a minute, Lady J, that ain't you. Mm -mm. You will not allow what's going on around you to affect who you are. You better make a stand on today. And you better start decreeing and declaring, I'm going to be happy and everything's working for my good. And the Bible says that all things work together for the good of them who love him. And if God be for me, who could be against me, that no weapon for me against me shall prosper. Come on now. 
You got to speak those things. And you got to decree and declare. And you got to put on those strongholds in your mind. Because ultimately, that, that, what, that thought is going to rule your whole day. Then you're going to be sad and depressed and full of anxiety. But today, you can change all that. And I can relate to you. Because I know how that feels. It don't feel good. I know it don't. But the joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Today, we're going to stand together. We're going to believe God for an outpour. A supernatural work operating in your life right now. We ain't got to wait till tomorrow. We can celebrate it right now. Celebrate your financial breakthrough. Celebrate um, you being healthy and wealthy. Celebrate that um, that the enemy let go your money right now. Hallelujah. God is commanding your enemy to let go of your money that he's trying to hold back. But you got to be in the faith. You got to be in the faith. You got to be in the faith. You got to believe. Because without Faith, it's impossible for God to do what he wants to do. So this is your girl, Lady Jam, just trying to encourage you to the day while I'm trying to encourage myself that we are going to get this is going to work for our good. Come on. I feel a praise in my spirit because we're going to praise our way out of this situation. Say goodbye to it today because it's gone. See how it is? Chains of thought. Decree and declare. I'm going to be happy. Everything is working according to God's will for my life. I should live and not die declaring the word of God. I'm going to stand on his promises. I'm not going to compromise my faith by what, by, by what I see and how I feel. I'm going to rejoice in everything. Because I know I'm coming out solid gold. Am I doing something to you right now? See, you should be rejoicing right now. Something should be bubbling on, on the inside of you because... I'm not going to allow nobody to steal my joy. Not people. Not situations. Mm -mm. I'm going to stand still and know that he is God. And that he knows that I trust him. And I ain't, I'm not going to lean to my own understanding. Because I know that he got it. I just got to stay in his will. Stay in his will. Stay in his will. Don't waver. Don't compromise. Just stand and know that he is God. Be still. Hold on to your faith. And trust him. Because today is your breakthrough. So I am just wanted to let you know that Lady J is with you all the way. We're going to make it to the end. This too shall pass. It's just temporarily, y'all. It's temporarily. It's temporarily. We are going to come out with a testimony on our lips. If it had not been for the Lord on my side. <laughs> Can I preach just a little bit? Because <laughs> he is going to be just that great in your life. So stay focused. Stay committed to yourself. Work out. Lady J is going to work out, work this body out because I am not going to be stressing while I'm getting to the blessing. Amen. So until next time, know that your girl love you. And remember, nothing happens to you happens. So happen on today. Get your work clothes on, workout clothes on like I do. Huh? And get to work. Get this mind, body, and spirit together. Amen. Peace. Love you.